Hi, I'm Christy Pelletier. I find the current cap and trade legislation that will demand that 15 to 20 percent of our energy production come from renewable sources by the year 2020 highly disturbing. I think you would find it disturbing too if you knew the facts. Let me explain. Most people agree that renewable energy is something that should continue to be investigated and even put into commercial practice where it makes sense to do so. But to commit to making as much as 20 percent of our electric power production come from renewable energy sources, mostly wind and solar, by the year 2020 is just insane. It cannot be done economically with today's technology. Renewable energy currently makes up about 7 percent of our total energy consumption. 90 percent of that comes from hydro and biomass. Wind and solar make up less than 1 percent. So how do we double renewable energy by using wind and solar in just 10 years? The only way that this can be accomplished is by using huge government subsidies. Analysis after analysis show that this will double our electricity costs. Even President electricity Obama admits energy costs will skyrocket. Up. That money comes right out of our pockets. What really burns me up is that no one ever tells us that wind and solar power have serious limitations. The wind only blows 25 percent of the time, and the sun doesn't shine at night or when it's cloudy. The only backup is natural gas and coal, so that means we have to keep the coal-fired generating plants going as a backup. Of course, they're still spewing out CO2, so reductions in CO2 emissions are minimized. Not only that, but we would be paying for renewable and coal-generated electricity at the same time. President Obama tells us that green energy will create between two and five million new green jobs. But Spain has been doing this for over a decade, and they found that for every green job created, 2.2 jobs were lost in the regular economy. Worse, each new green job cost over a staggering $750,000. If this ratio holds for the United States, and there's no reason to suspect it won't, the net result may be a loss of 6 to 10 million jobs at a cost of $10 trillion by 2030. That is a huge hit on our already weak economy. The entire purpose of this cap and trade legislation is to force us, that's right, force us, to reduce the amount of carbon-based energy we all use by progressively capping its production. In other words, it's forced rationing. We're supposed to reduce carbon emissions by 42 percent by the year 2030 and by 83 percent by 2050. There are presently no economically viable alternatives to fossil fuel, nor is there anything on the horizon. Are you ready to reduce your energy consumption by 20 to 60 percent while paying twice the costs for what you do use? This is insanity at its worst. Science now shows that man is not responsible for the warming of the 20th century. So why are we even considering this cap-and-trade legislation? This legislation must not pass. If you've never contacted your senators before, do it now. You can contact them at www.congress.org. Tell them that if they don't vote no on this cap-and-trade legislation, you will not be voting for them. We've already seen the reckless spending by Congress in the trillions of dollars. Let's help to stop this horrible legislation together. One way to do that is by passing the link for this video on to others that you know. Thank you so much for your time.